Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be installing a Bluetooth receiver into our 2004 Honda Accord. So I'll leave a link in the description below. If you scroll through the pages, you can actually see what models um, that this is gonna work with in years. This one in particular is, like I said, 2004 Honda Accord, and we're gonna go uh, with, I think it's the Honda 2.4. So like I said, link in the description. Um, pretty easy job, it took me about an hour that's with recording to show you guys how to do it. Um, so if you follow along, it shouldn't take much more uh, time than that. Pretty simple. And then here, I'm just going to show you the basic tools and then we're going to get to work. So in addition to that, I got this um, trim fork kit and pry kit from Amazon. And then you're just going to need a regular number two Phillips head and a flat blade screwdriver. All right, guys, let's get okay, to it. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this vent cover here. And then what I did was I took two of my trim forks. And I started and I worked it right here. I got that up just a little bit. And then I was able to creep my fork in there. And you can kind of see here on the side that there's areas where you're not going to be able to get it, like here, for example. Um, so you want to try to go as far as you can this way and then as close as you can back to you this way. And then you'll get it to pop and break loose. And we'll do that for both sides. Once we have our vent cover off. I'm going to come down here to our shift console. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to use a combination of two of your trim um, tools. This one, you're going to put pressure on it and give a little tension. And this one you can put right here, right by your heated seat or closer to the front. And it'll give it, and you'll hear a nice pop right up. You're going to get this corner up and we'll repeat the process on this side. If your car is equipped with heated seats, you're going to have the switch and the harness below. And then what you do is you push this tab in right here and these will slide right out okay so right in front of your shifter is your ashtray this is going to pop up with one of your trim forks and then you're going to have two phillips head screws right there and we're going to remove those and then this unit uh, with your 12 volt power source is going to come right out and then don't forget to disconnect the power source to your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Okay, so center console, storage compartment, Phillips head on that side, Phillips head on that side, and then you're gonna twist your key halfway, and then we're gonna bring our shifter back so we have enough room once those screws are loosened, just like that, and then we'll get this guy out. Okay, now I'm loosened, you're gonna have to Kind of wrestle this out. Just be gentle. You don't want to scratch that guy out. And then it just comes right out. Okay, so we're finally ready to remove the radio. You can have a Phillips head screw underneath here, and then one on this side. And then you can see that we have one, two, three up top. Okay, let me give you guys a better view because that first shot where I showed you where the screws are might have been a little misleading. So it looks like we have one here, and we have one here, and these are a little bit further set back. Okay, so this next step might seem a little intimidating or tricky but it's really not but what you want to do is one hand this, this, the, your stereo is going to rock now one hand is going to hook on the top just by your vents you see where my finger is like that and then underneath you're going to feel metal your fingers are too far you want your fingers to hook just on the plastic edge right here and then you got to give it a little you hear that just see it a little twist as you rock it out Unfortunately, I can't show you guys, I have one hand, but this is the idea. Just do it very carefully and you're gonna feel it pop um, out of its location down below and the radio should slide right out. Just a tip to help you guys out when you're wiggling the radio out, you're gonna have one single clip. You see it right here? And that's gonna go into this rectangle hole. Rectangle hole, does that even make any sense? It's gonna go into this rectangle, clip a retainer, but you're gonna wanna help it out with your finger from behind as you're wiggling the radio out. Um, this is gonna, probably gonna be your biggest challenge, getting the radio out. Okay, on the Bluetooth unit, you're gonna collect, connect this serial connector to it on this end. Okay, so we're on the passenger side and because of the wiring constraints, this is just the way that the radio is gonna um, be orientated. Now, you're gonna go into the back here and then you can see this white connector. From underneath, you'll be able to take a flat blade screwdriver and push up on a little tab, and then this guy will pop right out, okay? Now your Bluetooth receiver. You should already have your serial wire hooked up to it. 
sorry, I have my phone speaker a little tangled. And then you can see here with the kit, depending on what Honda you have, it should come with the appropriate plug. And then what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna slide it right in there until it clicks. And that's it, your receiver's in. So before we start to reassemble and tuck everything in, what we wanna do is we wanna install our microphone for our phone feature. Uh, this is a little bit easier than it seems. Now, you can't pull this trim off because you have your airbag installed. You can, but there's really no uh, need to. What you do is you pull your weather stripping, this rubber piece down just enough. And then what we can do is we can tuck our wiring in right here. And we're gonna come down and underneath the, jet, the dash to our Bluetooth receiver. Okay, so our speaker's installed. It's ran down underneath. Please guys, use some common sense. Don't get that tangled up in your pedals. You should be able to run it nice and tight and you see a little daylight and it'll poke right through here, okay? Uh, <clears throat> the radio is slid in. Just remember to orientate your wiring properly. You want this down facing. And I think I should have enough room to where this Bluetooth module can live nice and neat right in there. And then we'll have plenty of slack for our phone, uh, microphone jack to plug right into it. And before I forget, you have one USB, you have one auxiliary. The auxiliary, it comes with another jack that you can plug um, like an, an uh, iPod into or, um, you know, anything that has, uh, anything you like to play your music off of. And then you can actually adapt it to a hard line to an iPhone if you want to use it for charging purposes. But right now, we're just going to uh, plug it into this guy right here. BT Bluetooth. Okay, so we utilize the USB and the Bluetooth receiver for an iPhone cable. And I just ran it right down here, just by the seat, because why not? And then when the kids are in the back seat, it'll free up some more power sources for them to charge their phones. Anyway, you'll get a prompt on your phone or you go into your Bluetooth menu, standard, and it's gonna start uh, with KD, which is the model number of the Bluetooth receiver, followed by a number. And then you're going to want to go over here to your button that says CD Auxiliary Satellite Radio. And you're going to click it once and it should go right to CDC. And now you're ready to start playing music. You're ready to start receiving calls. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did like it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. You can check us out on Instagram. And we'll see you guys soon with some more car repair videos and uh, some other content. So stay tuned and we'll see you. Bye.